everyone, this is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. And I recently did two three card spread readings, one on tarot and one on Lenormand. So the question was about Omicron, the virus variation, COVID virus variation, mutation. There's growing global alarm over Omicron, the new coronavirus variant that first emerged in South Africa. Researchers say it could be the most infectious form of the virus so far, and it might even beat current vaccines. And the three tarot cards I got were these three. So what I was seeing in the cards was the two of wands to me represents duality or the Omicron virus mutating because it's two. So it's almost like splitting in two. So there'll be other variations of the Omicron. And then we've got the lover's card, which also means a splitting of two. Now, we also got the Nine of Cups, which is actually a good card, which is a wish card. So this is actually positive, because to me it looks like we'll be able to overcome this uh, mutation. But again, the Nine of Cups can also mean multiplying as well. So it's almost like it will mutate, it will split, it will split, and it will multiply in different mutations. So I don't think it's necessarily going to stick to the Omicron variation or mutation. I think we're going to have other mutations that will show up. Okay, this is to me showing a mul uh, multiplicity, multiplying. Now, when I did the Lenormand version, these are my uh, Vienna coffee cards, which are a type of Lenormand card. What we got in this spread was the snake. We got the clover and then we got the road, the crossroad or the road. So the snake can represent something poisonous, uh, an enemy. And this can also represent the virus. It actually says on the card, a secret enemy endeavors to injure you. So this is a bit like something that endeavors to injure, injure us. And then we have the clover. So it shows that there is some fortunate situation in, in the process of the Omicron virus. But the clover can also represent like short-lived Sometimes it means a bit of luck. But then we've got the crossroad. So the crossroad is showing again a splitting of the virus. So again, I think this is another mutation. So it's sort of saying that the virus will be lucky and it will mutate and be on the road, be out there uh, moving around and you know connecting to people who travel. So again, this has got a bit of a mutation vibe to it as well. And the clover to me also is a life card because it's a plant. So this indicates that the virus is not going to just die away. The Omicron version will just not die. It will actually mutate and go out on the road. So I wanna put in a few comments of what other people have said in the comment section of the posts. So from the tarot group, these, these are a few comments that I got that uh, kind of happened to reflect what I said. Jay said, interesting, with these cards, it looks like people's choices will help propagate it prolifically. So I think, yes, I think that's the uh, Nine of Cups sort of spreading it out there. I wrote, I think there are more variations coming our way, people. The lovers and two wands looks like mutations to me. Lillian said, we need to cooperate and work together like a team to stop the new vi virus Omicron spread. Then we just have chances to release our tension and feel happy. Hmm, yes, I think we need to work together to cooperate. Like the lovers is the cooperation card, but uh, humans are not very good at cooperating, it seems. And Sally wrote, 
No, as long as the right choices are made. So again, it's about the choices is the lovers uh, choosing to work together. Now for the Lenormand Post. Again, Jay wrote, nasty virus, but short-lived before taking an alternative path. So I think the clover represents short-lived and obviously the road, the crossroad or the road is the alternative path. Clover crossroads, maybe the virus will have the opportunity to multiply in different directions. Also, maybe not Omicron, but another mutation that causes an issue. So I think we're on the same page there about this virus basically multiplying and mutating. So um, it may be hard to actually pin down because it may mutate or already mutated. It's probably already mutated because it doesn't seem to be um, being captured in the cards. The cards seem to be saying that it's still open and out there. So I just thought these uh, other people's opinions were interesting because they sort of reflected what I was saying. So be safe, everyone. This is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop.